Have you been struggling with how to make that soft, easy bread recipe? Then this video is for you. And when you prepare the bread, the next day, does it become hard? <laughs> I got you this bread was very soft and just look at that this was the next day and two days okay the next two days but it was very soft without wasting much of your time let's get started so I have with me here my one and a half cups of soy milk I will add a tablespoon of sugar a tablespoon of yeast mix it and place it in a warm place for seven to ten minutes you can use any milk of your choice you can even use some water okay so you can use any liquid of your choice not vanilla <laughs> that is just by the way now after the 10 minutes i will just go ahead and add my three cups of wheat flour and then i will add my quarter cup of sugar okay i want to get the normal sugar taste okay yes that is why today our sugar is plenty like that i've added half a teaspoon of salt i will add about half a teaspoon of nutmeg i don't like a lot of nutmeg in my bread recipes okay now i'll go ahead and mix it very well you can use vanilla or any flavor of your choice as well and you are good to go so um you can go ahead and add about quarter cup of the flat to it but i'm not going to do that okay because i don't want to stress myself when i'm kneading the dough okay so as you as you can see on the screen we are just going to knead the dough just like this but i'm going to knead it with three tablespoons of flour as you can see it is very soft okay so i have three tablespoons of flour on my working surface that is what i'm going to use to knead the dough then we are going to use five tablespoons of butter to that so this is what we are going to do we are not going to add all the five tablespoons at a time okay so we are going to add it bit by bit and you understand what i mean by that okay thank you so much if today is the first time here hello nice to meet you this is lena and walk up we do easy cooking recipes here so if you're interested please do not hesitate to subscribe or follow for more videos it is totally free okay thank you so much now as you can see they are sticking into my hands so i am just going to smear some of the butter in my palm then i can use it to knead the dough you understand it so this is what i mean so i will just continue with that so that it will not stick to my hand or my palm because it is very soft okay and we don't want to add any flour to it because we don't want it hard i hope you understand it so if you don't like to knead your dough please i beg you knead it if you knead it you are going to get that perfect bread and the next day it will be still soft if you don't do it like that the first day your bread is soft the next day is like iron rod uh -huh. so you need it very well just seven to ten minutes you are good to go or 10 to 15 minutes you are good to go so i'll continue with that and then so we are done with it if you don't like it this way i am just going to show you another way you can knead your dough with that you can even give it to your kids to play with it and I mean it will need perfectly okay uh -huh. so i will be showing you very soon please if you are not following me on all social media platforms please do so for me the name is the same exhibiting mommy's recipes thank you so much so just hit it on the floor like this okay even if you give it to the kids they will be playing with it and the thing will need perfectly I don't mean your toddlers okay <laughs> now we are done with it i'll just keep it in my bowl cover it place it in a warm place for 30 minutes that day was a bread day okay so i have another bread recipe just beside it i hope it bring it to you very soon now i will divide it into two and then 
after that i will divide them into the sizes that i want but i will take some of the air out and we can proceed thank you so much if you are still with me i do appreciate your time here okay thank you for the time you've spent with me i appreciate it now we are going to mold this into a ball just like um how we we do uh ball fruit okay uh -huh. how we shape it so what i was showing you at the other side i was just trying to tell you that i don't want it to get closer to each other so that when it is ready now will be the time i will be separating them no so i place it in a warm place for an hour and this is how it looks put it in the oven bake it and then you are good to go just study your oven and prepare it perfectly okay all ovens are not the same uh -huh. you can use your air fryer as well and then you are good to go but i will be using the heat i use and the time on the screen thank you so much now just look at that so perfect and that was three days after the thing was so nice and very soft at the same time so i had to hide it from my daughter so that i can use it to <laughs> make the video and as i'm doing this voiceover oh my goodness i have only one and a half yes and it was very nice trust me we all know that um wheat is very nice and this bread was very very nice mutton like that soft mm? just look at that perfect so try this recipe and let me know the results i'll be very very for it's not all the time that you you are supposed to buy bread outside you can make it yourself just put this in your rubber and then tie it put it in your pantry and be enjoying it small 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 you will save some money thank you so much for watching so i come your way next time do not forget to eat healthy take good care of yourself and remember that i love you and love yourself first Bye-bye. <laughs>